Yo, 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 baby. Cook it, baby. Woo. What a week. What a week. Let me just, uh, let me get myself situated over here. And then we'll get this show on the road, baby. Hold on a second. I tried to start at 9 o'clock on the dot. Uh, and I have my live stream set to start at 9. So I clicked on OBS to start streaming. And I thought it would just wait to go to 9. But I guess it just starts. So, oh wait, hold on. I got some. I have, okay, that should be better. Yeah, it just, it like starts, uh, I guess it starts when I click the stream button. So I guess we're here. We are here, everybody. What's going on? How are we doing? It's been another week. Crazy week. I feel like every week that passes now, just so much more stuff gets dropped online, like things that are coming out and nutty, 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 nutty. What's going on, everybody? How we doing, Michael Lopez, Robbie, my boy, how we doing? Pentagram Music and Games. Young Bay is verified, yeah. He got that nice blue check, that blueberry, that little blueberry right next to him. What's up, what's up, what's up? Zico Yoshi, 1027, Sanchez, Holly, my girl Holly, how we doing? Crazy. Crazy. It's been a nutty week. A lot of things have been dropped. Um, let me just give another couple seconds, maybe a minute, let everybody uh, get in here, get all situated, and then we'll start this show, we'll get this show on the road, but I hope you guys have had a great week, I had a pretty, pretty good week, definitely very busy. Uh, that last video I just dropped, I actually took a long time to make, and I did it in one day after work, I like came home, I filmed everything, and then I wrote, well, I didn't write the script, I had the script already, because I did it for Vapor95, and I just did the whole video though. It took all night, so it's been a busy week. And then last night, I just crashed. I was exhausted. I slept. So pretty good. Pretty good. But um, I guess another news real quick, some housekeeping before we start. Um, if anyone's looking to buy any vinyl this week, I know this is just vinyl all the all the time. Like, this, <laughs> like if our wallets aren't empty yet, you know, it just gets worse. But uh, Danny Mason is dropping the Summertime EP on 7-inch transparent vinyl tomorrow. My Pet Flamingo. Um, I don't know, if, for those who've been with Pat Chennington since the beginning, I used to make these videos back when there was never any Vaporwave vinyl yet. I mean, there was, but it was so little. And I used to make these videos about, like, records I want to see get, albums I want to get see get pressed on vinyl. And that was one of them, the Summertime EP. And it's coming to life, you know, and it looks really cool, looks really clean. And it's like, ooh, we got a little saxophone. A little Thursday sax. I'll take it, I'll take it. Music tonight is by Glenn OAX, Narvin Nights. You can find this album on Nightlight Tapes. Go give him a gander. Go give him a gander. What's going on, Marcus? Um, so yeah, new Danny Mason EP tomorrow. Summertime, a new Danny Mason vinyl, summertime EP tomorrow. My Pit Flamingo, go check it out. Um, crazy, crazy stuff. I mean, I have a lot of stuff planned. I, I'm a big believer in just like, I like, I like hype, right? But I don't want to like say anything until like I have the proof of it. But I just, I got a lot of things coming up. You guys are going to really enjoy working with some people. Some people y'all love. It's going to be a good time. So I got some big coming this weekend I'm going to be doing. Uh, and also, as always, um, right now, the chat giveaway incentive. Every $10 donation enters you for a chance in winning my personal copy of Acid Arcadia by Vapor. It is the, uh, the splatter. The lesser ran one of the two. Uh, the other one was the split. This one's a little more rare. And uh, the winner will be announced June 30th. But any $10 donation, you are entered into possibly winning that. So, we're cooking. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get the show on the road. Why I brought you all here tonight. First of all, he's got a damn bird now. Look at that bird. That's a nice looking bird. Look how happy he is. <laughs> that is a chipper bird, young bay. Who said you could bring a bird in the house, though? Get that. You gotta put that bird away, baby. Come on. Bay 5. We've been waiting. 
We've been waiting for Bay 5 for a long time. Young Bay hasn't put anything out in like two years. It's been a long time since we've seen Young Bay. I mean, I don't blame him. He is just destroying the live scene right now. Um, definitely, like, within our community, he's, he's like the number one guy. I would say, like, I would say maybe even a little more just out there than uh, Georgie Porgy. George Clan is amazing, too. But Young Bay is, like, doing going festivals. Like, he's, like, doing his thing doing his thing so so a while ago he was he we had you know he was talking about bay five he was gonna drop i'm gonna drop bay five it's coming it's coming uh and it's been a while since uh we've been hearing anything but tonight at midnight tonight he's dropping the first official single so everyone mark your uh, your alarms on your phones 12 o'clock don't go to sleep yet he's dropping the new single and it's gonna be the first single off of bay five um so I'm, I'm sure you guys can see in the background of this thumbnail in the video here. Bay 5 was supposed to come out spring 2019, and we're getting pretty close to summer. I, I don't, is it summer already? I don't know when summer starts officially. I think it, isn't it June 20th? I, I could be wrong. Um, yeah, so it, it, I'm assuming, I mean, if he's got, if he's got a single coming out, I'm sure he's got some more stuff ready to go. I don't know when he's going to drop it. I don't think anyone knows. Um, but it should be coming pretty soon. So, Zico's asking for the time zone. I know, midnight is vague. I'm, I'm assuming it's Eastern time. I don't know. I don't want to, like, I'm in the Eastern time. I don't want to just say like that because I'm there. But I feel like usually people, like, it's always something, something Eastern time. I don't know. I could be wrong. So, someone could confirm that for me. Um, but yeah, Bay 5 hype. Now for, so, so here's, here's what's going on with Bay 5. Here's what's going on for Bay 5. We all know Young Bay's formula when it comes to making music. It's simple. I'd say it's pretty easy. It's to the point. But I love it. And y'all love it. And it's just, it is so, just, it's so groovy and good. And he just knows what he's doing. I think like after like Bay 2, the formula was pretty set, and there's nothing wrong with that to me. I think a lot of people give him a lot of uh, harsh criticism, which is cool. You know, we're always allowed to criticize. That's the beauty of music. We can talk about it. It's subjective. It's beautiful. It's great, you know? But I love it because it's just, it, like I always say in my like Future Funk related videos, if I'm just like bumping my head, grooving, it's good to me. And a lot of it just falls for that. Like I love, I still love like that cheap future funk sound. I love it. I'll never, I don't think I'll ever get sick of it because there's so much of it, you know. And I could just, it's just such good dance material. And it's great. So now here's the thing, though. So so Bay Five is gonna be a little different for those who don't know. Bay Five, he's got some real sweet live instrumentation. Real quick, Young Bay's in the chat, everybody. What's cooking, baby? I'm talking. I love that bird, dude. I want that bird. Next time I see it, I want to pet it. Bring that bird to the show. <laughs> Bring that bird to the show, baby. Hey, Robbie. Thank you, dude. He's going off the rails with this one. We can all feel it. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it too. I'm feeling the hype. So for, for this one, he's got a lot of live stuff going on. Uh, if you guys follow him on Twitter, he said in the past uh, that he's got like a, like a, like a or the orchestra or something and like a choir or some shit like turning it up the kanye of future funk i'm i'm telling you i'm telling you but he's got a single coming out tonight i wonder what it's going to be like i wonder if it's going to be a lot of the live instrumentation stuff i wonder if it's going to be you know the classic bay sample heavy style but uh bay we love you buddy we we friggin love you young bay and young burb look at that bird that's a happy bird <laughs> that is a happy bird hold on i need some i need some See, I screw up every time I do these live streams. I make a nice cup of coffee for myself, and I set up the live stream, and I drink the coffee, right? And then by the time the stream starts, I got no coffee left, and it's cold. So I got to get, like, a pot sitting right next to me. Is it, Imagine if that's the that's not Young Bay. <laughs> That'd be hysterical. Young Bay got one sub. <laughs> that's hysterical. Listen, I hope... <laughs> Whenever I do like live streams about artists, like everyone's just gotta be, you guys gotta bombard the chat with just 
like if I do a live stream on, about George Clinton, like just make like a thousand George Clintons and come in the chat. That'd be hysterical. <laughs> we getting pranked. It's all good, fake bay. I, I still love you. I love everybody here. I still love it. Um. Okay. So let's let's keep talking. Let's keep talking about Bay Five. So live instrumentation. Um. And I really think this could be a big, uh, I guess not turning point, but like there's people are going to be influenced from this album a lot because Young Bay he's pretty much sitting at the top. You know, the future funk scene, he's he's clearly sitting on the top. I mean, anything that's going live right now, like, he's headlining it. You know, if there's a lineup, he's always at the top. He's he's the one that's making it happen. So, actually, hold on real quick. Robbie, let me... Let me, uh... Write you down for the vinyl, because you just... With a donation. Thank you, baby. Alright. So, uh... So yeah, I think this is going to be a very big uh, like platform to go off of for the next part of the scene, you know, because I think production value wise, I would say ever since like 2017 has really like turned up in Future Funk. And there's like I always say, and I said, you know, just a couple of minutes ago, there's never anything wrong, I think, with the cheap Future Funk formula. It's just, it's fun. Like there could never be enough of it, in my opinion, you know, simple side chaining, grab a, a city pop sample put a kick on it it's fucking groovy i don't know you know but there really has been like a uh, a real increase i would say in like productivity and dedication towards something original um i mean ones that come right to my mind obviously is like remember by ev anything by fiber barb walters reconnect was good but pleasure is like on a whole nother level that could get like future funk album of the year i would say so far i would definitely say so far Merp Merp's mom is Young Bay. Hmm. Where is the single dropping? I'm I'm not sure. I would just honestly go on Twitter uh, and follow Young Bay on there. He'll I'm sure he's gonna you know drop it and talk about it and whatnot. Yeah, Melanie too. That's some good future funk too, dude. That intro song, yeah, take it to the top. That's like a, that's a groovy track. That's a groovy track. When I play, when I play live this summer, when I set up a goddamn gig, it's like tough. I don't really, I'm trying, but I'll, I'll get some live shows. I will, especially after I drop the rookie EP. Once I drop the rookie EP, then I really got some material. You know, I got contrast to play with. I got the rookie EP, and I'll get some remixes I'm working on. So, so good stuff. Um. Wait, hold on, is the stream? Wait, wait. What? Wait, is it working? Is it working? I, like, my internet sucks, dude. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Alright, we're back. Okay. We're back. I'm back, baby. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. So, I'm, I'm really excited for Bay 5 because I... I I don't know what to expect, to be honest with you, because, like, he's been hyping it up, you know, that there's, like, a lot of live work in here. And I think Bay said before that he doesn't know any instruments. Like, he, I think he was in, in an interview, I forgot with who, and I could be totally wrong, I could be talking about someone else, but I, I sh I'm, like, 85 and a half percent sure this was him who said this. But he played piano in high school or something, and then he stopped, and he just went to digital eventually in college. When he made the, the original Bay, and he wishes he did, like, he kept going with piano or something. Um, so I, I'm really, like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. I've been classified as a boomer by the council of... I have been seeing that lately. I don't know. <laughs> That's, I thought that was so funny. Somebody, somebody said that on Twitter, and I was like, I can't hear you over uh, the Trooper by Iron Maiden right now blasting in my, my headphones. Oh, baby. Death Dynamic Shroud is back, y'all. Death Dynamic Shroud is the shit. Like, they're just the best. They're the best. They're the best. They were all in the live stream, too, last week. All of them. Like, even Keith was there. Which was really cool. That was, like, record numbers, too, for, for Pat Chennington live stream. We were at, like, over 100 we were averaging for that one. 
It's pretty nice. Luke Garcia asks, will Future Funk die off? Samples are getting repeated so often. I don't think so. And I mean, I... Th the question would have really been around like 20... Like 17, 2016. But then it changed because like people are changing the way they make Future Funk. There's like I'm saying, there's a lot more just like layering going on with the tracks. It's not a lot of just here's a city pop sample, here's a you know a side chain and a kick and a, a snare that you got from some YouTube tutorial download pack in the description. I don't know, but um, we'll see. I, I don't. I don't know what to expect. I am very excited though. So the the new Bay Five single drops at twelve o'clock tonight. I'm not sure where. I should have looked up where it was dropping, but just follow him on Twitter. Um, I'm sure he's gonna post it there, or follow me on Twitter because I'm gonna repost it. You know. So whichever way you want to do it. Admiral Eclipse asks. So how's the work on Contrast Seven? I've run out of ideas going. Actually, I'm working on Contrast Nine and a Half, baby catch up catch up i'm gonna drop them with like uh some crazy uh cryptic thing remember you guys remember like back back in like pokemon sapphire with like the reggies the reggie rock reggie ice remember the one with the braille i think it was reggie rock you had to like read the bra no they all had braille and there was one that you had to just wait there i thought that was the coolest shit back in there i'm gonna do something like that one day when i drop an album you're gonna have to like download like a leaf green ROM and I'm gonna like edit it. Okay, like I, is that oh no, we got now we got George Clinton and Saint Pepsi in the chat. Who's next? Somebody somebody make a Pitbull one. I want Pitbull in the chat, baby. I want Mr. 305 in here. We got George Clinton with uh with uh Mr. Magoo glasses on and a mustache. Saint Peps, baby. <laughs> it's the real St. Pepsi It's the real Pepsi Ooh. Yeah, I, I don't know The waiting one was annoying See, it was funny Because I had the Pokemon See, I was a son of a bitch I was, the, I was that kid That had the goddamn strategy guide I was a bitch I mean, I didn't do it for like any I didn't do it for like Blue and red and silver and gold But I had the one for Sapphire version and I remember I was reading, like, what to do at that part. And as I was reading, all of a sudden, like, the, the thing unlocked. Because I was just reading for so long, trying to figure out. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, it just stopped. Like, it, like, scared me. It was, it was pretty nutty. So, cool stuff. Pokemon Sapphire. It was a good game. Good game. Yeah, where's Cat System Court? Uh, this ain't the real patch anything. This is his twin brother, baby. This is the twin. This is Chad Pennington. Mid 2000s QB. NYJ, baby. Yo, Enneth, thank you, dude. Yo, remember when you suggested for me to make a Vapor Trap single wave album? I'm close to being done. Where should I send it? If you want an early copy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, tag me on Twitter, I guess. You could uh, post and tag me on Twitter. I'll retweet it for you, too. Sounds pretty cool. Thank you for the donation, Anna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. So, yeah, this weekend, uh, so this weekend I got some stuff going on. Um, I got some fun stuff. Don't want to announce it yet. It's a surprise. I'm going to keep it secret. But um, I'm working with someone. It's going to be fun. Um, what are my thoughts on pan pipes as an instrument in music? Pan pipes? I've heard like pan flutes. That's the thing, right? Pan flutes? I don't know. And favorite vaporwave artist from 1027 N Mesh. What are your favorite vaporwave artists? Yeah, N X X X or whatever. Really underrated. I feel like uh, no one really talks about him too much. Fujita scale is really good, and the album with the skeleton is really good. That's some like spooky vapor trap, you know. 
got some some meat to it. I really like that stuff that that they put out. Pan pipes, pan flutes are the same thing. I like pan flutes, man. They're cool. I like flutes. I like I like uh, wind instruments when they're a nice counter melody. I always like those. So another thing coming up for the channel, um, I gotta find a goddamn CRT TV. I have to find one because I I really want to start um, speed running again. I want to speed run Super Mario for you guys because that would be a shit show and a half. It'd be very fun. And uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do broken reality. I looked into it. I'm gonna do that soon for you guys too. I might make like just a video of it, and I think I'll do a live stream too. You know, because I think we get a lot of stuff out of that one, which will be a lot of fun. Will definitely be cool. <sighs> Man, I gotta, I gotta make more coffee for these streams. I'm screwing up. Screwing up. What's everybody else doing this weekend? What do we got planned for the weekend? I'll be in New York City. I will be in New York City. Do you just talk about the new Blank Banshee album that comes out in 2020 that is currently codenamed Metamorphosis? And something related to it comes out on June 20th. I have that marked on my calendar. Yeah, uh, Blank Banshee does a lot of that uh, that cryptic stuff, right? Like, didn't they? There's like a fly or something now on the logo, and I'm excited for that too. That's not like like, dude. There's just like every week now. It's there's just new news coming out, you know. So this week we got Bay Five. Next week we're going to have something. Then we got the uh, Blank Banshee. Hey St. Pepsi, Car Park is a cute song. Car Park's like one of the best songs off of Winter Circle. That's a jam. How that hasn't been like remixed really well yet is a shocker. That's one of those songs like uh, like Mac Tonight where like the, the thoughts remix of that song is like, in my opinion, it's... Like, you know, I, I generally like when it's sped up. I like the Future Funk sound. And uh, that remix the thoughts remix of mac tonight i think is really good and i feel like car park's a song i should get on that that's a song that could be remixed really well remix really really well whatever happened to vectroid lukey ass uh vec drop i think the last thing vec dropped was that album i don't remember it's like seed and the something it's like the one with like the the statue and like a piggy bank on it or something. I thought it was kind of cool. I, I wouldn't really listen to it that much. It's like a little too like hyper radioactive for me. Make news at 11. Weekly news for Vaporwave Live. You know what? That would be cool if like uh, music's the... You guys know music the, music's the hang up? You should um check him out. I think he's having like issues though, right? Isn't that something? Like he can't... He can't like make videos because he's in china or something like that he's got a really nice news thing going on he stays consistent with and like the like consistency is so key for me you know it's such a huge thing i would that would be cool like we should do that me and him like team up and do like news at 11 that'd be actually really cool get corpin on it too i mean corp's got that dude's got so much to say i wonder what that son of a bitch is doing these days Yeah, Vector's uh, gaming streams, I believe. And Synthetic Earth and Seed, that's the name. Thank you, Sonic Juice Central. Mr. Dubstep asks, how long has been the stream? Uh, we've been going for like 20 minutes so far. This is going to be another one of those streams. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop at like 9.45, 10-ish, just because I got, I got some music I want to work on. Um, I really, so, I, I mean, if you guys have seen on Twitter, I'm going to be dropping a new EP soon. It's called Rookie. Four songs. Two of them have features. I think you're going to like the features a lot. It's going to be popping. Um, and I want it out, like, 
I wanted it out by the end of June, but I just I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that with like all the stuff I'm working on and my actual job and all that shit. So I'm thinking like middle June. Hey, that'll be a good good time to drop it. So look for rookie, the rookie EP drop in June. I don't know um what label I'm gonna drop it on. We'll see. I think it would be cool like if I make every release on a different label. I think it would be cool because like, I mean that's the whole point of Patch Hennington anyway is just to help get exposure for everybody. You know? So. When are you doing a reviewing your track stream? That's a good idea too, dude. That's a good idea too. Robbie Stoked for the EP. It's gonna slap. Yes it is. Face reveal at Electronicon. Yeah. Unless I wear the fucking helmet and, like, just die of heat exhaustion. How many subs needed for the, uh... For the face reveal? I don't know. I just, I like the mystery of it at this point. I think it's, like, cool. It's fun. Pad, will you ever do more vinyl reviews? Yes, I will. I'm actually, um, see, here's the thing with the vinyl reviews. Like, at this point with the channel, they just, they really don't get that many views compared to other things, you know? So maybe if, I'm gonna actually do a vinyl review this Sunday. I don't know if it'll be out Sunday, but I'm gonna do a review this Sunday. Um, so, I expect a vinyl review soon. Like, one's definitely coming out, um, and we're gonna work on it this Sunday. But I think they don't pull in that, that many views, you know. Um, and I, I think I kind of know what my bread and butter is at, on the channel. It's really just those like subgenre breakdowns. I don't want to flood the channel with that because like I would personally get bored making them. Like I love making them every once in a while, you know. And I never want to get bored on here. It's going to be very hard for me to get bored. Like I love doing this stuff, so. On the NRW channel? I don't know what that is. NRW? I enjoy the greater frequency of videos lately. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, I gotta change it up a little bit, you know? I think I'll do a nice vinyl review. Um, I got another fun video coming up, so that'll be cool. Thanks, Sanchez. Yeah, and, and Robbie, the, uh, the vinyl reviews are some of my favorite videos to make, to be honest with you. I love, like, just diving into like the records you know i just i like it's just fun to like explore the state that they bring me to it's you know like i don't think i'll ever be a fantano but it's fine like fantano is so like like cerebrally logical if that even makes sense like he's so just like He's so good at literally breaking down music, why he likes it or not. Wait, is it not working again? Is the stream still good? I feel like it stopped working. All right, tell me if it's working. It should be working. It says it's working here. Should be good. I think it's working. I don't know. I hate my internet. All right, I think it's back, right? I don't understand why it just doesn't work. It's like going in and out. I think, okay, is it working?
Is it working? I think it's working. I think it's working. I think it's working. Is it working? Yes, no, maybe. Is it working? Maybe you gotta refresh, right? Oh my god, it's like 2019, dude. How does the internet not work? <laughs> this is so annoying. I can't tell if it's working. I think it is. The little green square is there in OBS, so it should be good. Hmm. I think it's working. Wait a minute. Is it working? I can't tell. I think it's I think it's working now. I think. I think. Is it? Are we good? We're good. We're good. Dude, I don't understand. It's like why is internet like still having problems in 2019? Doesn't make sense to me. Goodness gracious internet. All right. Oh, I think I think we're good, baby. I think we are back. I think we're back. Yes. Good. All right. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Yes. Okay. So at least like, at least YouTube's nice with that. At least they send another notification that the stream goes back online. That's kind of cool. What happened? I get scared, like every time the audio cuts out, I'm getting scared that like the stream is stopping. <laughs> just don't move, pad. I know, I'm gonna have to just stand perfectly still. Robbie goes, your internet is a DDS album. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. I think, um, you know what I'll do if I, so I have some music I gotta work on because I have to, I have to finish the rookie EP. Maybe I'll do like a track reaction, track review to the new Bay song tonight. You know? And maybe I'll drop that in the morning. I'll see if I'm up for it. <laughs> I'll see if I'm up for it. Top 10 future funk songs though. That is a tough question. I like that question though. Let's talk about that. I like that. Top 10 future funk question the top 10 future funk songs let's think i don't know if i could put it in order but i could give you like 10 songs that i love 10 future funk songs i love okay i mean i love the pineapple juniors macross remix of saint pepsi's track i love that um other future funk songs i like where'd the music go what is going on with my internet I just don't understand why it just can't work. There we go. I hear the crickets again. All right. Um, yeah, I like Pineapple Juniors, the remix by Macross. Um, I mean, recently I've been really listening to Melanade's album a lot. Um, Strawberry Station dropped that album. I thought it was pretty catchy, which was good too. Um... I love, uh, I think it's called Strawberry Lemonade, right? Or Raspberry Lemonade off of Hit Vibes. That's like one of my favorite songs off there. Uh, 
A Night in Tokyo Part 2 from A Million Miles Away is such a banger. That might be my favorite Future Funk song of all time. It's just like the perfect sample, and it's looped at the perfect time. If you guys haven't heard that song, that's like, that is the song of like, just, that is like a summer song. That is a summer song. This, this album is, okay, there we go. I was like, it really sounded like there's like crickets outside right now. Like, it felt like I was listening to music. What DAW do I use? I, I mean, I use Fruity Loops. You can do so much with it, you know? I don't know. I feel like everyone shits on it, but... Hey, I guess the job done. You can make music in it. <laughs> did I pick up any of the Bay 3 or 4 vinyl represses? I did not. Um, I do have a good amount from Young Bay. I have the Bay tapes from Vinyl Digital. I have Bay 1 and Bay 2. I really want Skyscrapers Anonymous. I think that's my, like, number one Bay album that I want. Really, like, a lesser talked about release by him that I think is really good. Knights is getting surgery next week, that day. So we'll give me a little social interaction. We'll be here for you. Just come to Thursdays with Pad. We'll talk to you. I just want to like triple check that just all this internet stuff is working. Now we're working. You know what? I'm going to jump on Twitter. I want to see if he said where the new Bay track's going to drop so we know. But my internet is like so slow while I'm streaming. I can't like do anything. And I feel like if I click a button, it's gonna just disrupt the stream. I'm like scared. <laughs> Are we still on? Is it still working? How long does my pet flamingo vinyl take to deliver to the US? Um Honestly, I don't think it was that long. I mean, unless they like you bought something and it was like a pre-order kind of thing. But I think like when I ordered from them, uh I forgot what I ordered. It came pretty soon and like the flamingo funks were coming pretty soon, right? For everybody. Have I ever played Knights? I played it once. That's like the purple girl, right? She's like purple. It's like Sonic, but purple or something like that. I had a demo on an Xbox for it. I had no idea what to do. It was like, the, it was so trippy and weird. To be honest, unpopular opinion maybe, but Distant Love, Japanese Disco Edits is actually the best Future Funk song ever. Kelsey, I love... Japanese Disco Edits 3. Um, the first two songs on there, like, they're super simple, but they're really, really good. Really, really good. How long till the release? It's coming out at 12. I don't know if it's 12 p.m., though, or, like, 12 uh, West Coast time, because then I'm going to be sleeping. I am tired. Edgar, 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 Edgar. Well, let me see the other one. Hey, Pat, I got some tapes from Business Casual. Blah, 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 blah. Let me make some stuff online. What kind of word do I need to make? Uh, follow them on Twitter, dude, and send them a message. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to uh, talk to you. Usually, labels are just so chill, especially like the bigger ones are like really, they're just holding it down. Congrats, Cyrus, too. Congrats to anyone who got the uh, Late Night Delight vinyl, the repress. I'm happy they press they repress so much, which is great. Yeah, I've listened to Home. I don't really listen too much. Um, oh my gosh, this like album is like 
put, it put me to sleep. Like, it's so relaxing. But, um, yeah, I think tonight, I think what I'll do is I'm going to do, like, a track review, track listen. And, um, that'll be fun. That'll be a fun, nice little video to get out for tomorrow. I just got so much shit I'm working on. It's, like, it's nuts. Ooh, this is a cool question. Back when you collected retro games before records, which systems did you buy games for? So primarily, I collected for the original Game Boy. And, uh, I mean, N64. But it was mostly Game Boy I collected. So there was, there was like a time, and I still have them. I guess, like, let me tell you what I remember that I have still from my collection that I, I'll just never get rid of. I pretty much... I sold everything. Um, oh, really quick before we keep going. What album is this again? This is Narvin Nights by Glenn OAX. You can find that on Nightlight Tapes. Uh, but yeah, so if I'm like looking, like thinking what I still got in the uh, retro game collection. So I have a factory sealed Pokemon Blue version I'll never get rid of. I have it like in a case. That's my favorite game in the history of video games. And I'll just never get rid of it. So I have that. Um... I have at this I don't think I ever got rid of any of them but and they were all from garage sales. I have three completely complete inbox Game Boys um, with everything in it like from the styrofoam to the plastic bags like just everything. Um, I have about I would say like 40 complete inbox Game Boy games still. I, I kind of kept all the Game Boy shit. I never got rid of that. I think that's cool because I think like I think what I'm gonna do is like eventually when I have kids, I think I'm just gonna like give it to them for like Christmas one day, just like let them rip the boxes open, like kind of have the same, because everything is so going so digital, you know, for video games especially. So I think that'd be cool, like to give them that, let them rip open Game Boy boxes in like 2025. 2025. Wait, how old would I be then? I think I want I want to have kids before that. Not that's still long for now. I don't know. Um. So yeah, I have a lot of. And, like, just uh, besides the games, too, I have, like, the Game Boy printer in box that I got at a garage sale. I have the Game Boy camera that I got at a garage sale. I would say, like, 98% of everything I have is from garage sales. It was nuts. It, it was so ridiculous. Um, N64. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Box systems, I sold almost all of them. Like I said, all I have left is the Game Boy. But box systems I had at one point... I had uh, the Commodore box. I had an original Xbox complete in box, two complete in box Game Cubes, Game Boy Advance complete in box, SP complete in box, all from garage sales. N never bought online. I just I never spent money on eBay for like any of this shit. Besides like a couple, but um. So, so I had that. I had a complete in box NES action set. I had. Um. Hmm. Kind of remember. I think that might be it. Complete in box Game Boy Color. Obviously, I had that. What else? What else did I have? I'm trying to think. Also, like uh, some like cool rare thing. So I had. I still have it. I think I have a NES glasses case that some guy had at a garage sale it's like an nes official case for your glasses weird i don't know um i got once um thinking the nes complete in box is a pretty nutty pickup um Hey, Window Fan Club. Young Bay is my Vaporwave King. Thank you, dude. I hope you're pumped for the uh, release tonight. Thank you for the donation. Um, the NES pickup was was nutty because the lady who was selling it, she sold me that. And DuckTales 2 was in there, too. And, like, DuckTales 2 goes for a good amount of money, from what I remember. Uh, but it was the NES action set complete in box. Like, 15 NES games with manuals. 
and sleeves, not cases or boxes or anything. And um, she originally offered me 60 for everything, which is like a huge steal. Like that's an amazing price for all that. But of course, you know, because that was her first offer, I got to go lower. It's always like a game. So I was like, ah, oh, like, you know, the, my, my, my go-to was always the games just, you know, they're not in boxes and I don't know if they work. So I was like, oh, I can only do it for 30. So we ended up going back and forth and she would not budge from 60. So I was like, fine, I'll buy it for 60. But in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'll buy it for 60. Like, that's a great deal. And she like was so happy that like, I could tell she was like, she was so proud that she sold it at her price. And she was like, all well, like, you could tell in her attitude, she was like, yeah, like I ripped you off. But in my head, I'm like, dude, I ripped you off. Like, it was just like, it was awesome. So that was a cool one. Um... The complete inbox Xbox I actually got on a road trip. We were in Delaware at the time. And it was a complete inbox Xbox and 27 complete games. You never forget your biggest pickups. You just never forget them. And I got it all for 20 bucks. That was a nutty one too. And Psychonauts was in there. It was nice. Uh, I don't have a Virtual Boy. When I did collect, I did want to get one. I thought it would be kind of cool. But I always tried to find stuff at garage sales. I didn't want to like... I always thought like buying off of ebay and stuff i always thought it was like cheat codes like it's like you're cheating the whole point of collecting is like what you could find and then use and and whatnot so which was pretty cool the good old retro gaming days dude long time ago cheers from ecuador thank you dude cheers from uh the jersey shore cheers All right, people, but this is – here's the plan. Here's the plan. Uh, am I going to keep the stream going around midnight? I'm actually not. I, it would be cool to keep it going till midnight and then, like, listen to the track, you know, with you guys. But what I think I'll do is I'm just going to do, like, a track review, track reaction video, and maybe I'll drop it in the morning. Or maybe I'll drop it tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But I'll drop. I'll drop that. Um, I have to work on music because, like, I need to finish the Rookie EP. I want to drop it soon. I really want to drop it soon. So, uh, thanks, Nate. But anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's leave it off on some, you know, some words with Pad that we do every week. Let me close the music. Let me see what I got to tell everybody before we go. Let me close this music. Okay, there we go. Now I got the stage. Now I got the stage. Let me go crisscross applesauce. Oh, let me sit. All right, everybody. So I got a big weekend coming up. Uh, I'm doing something with a really awesome dude in the scene. Uh, you guys love a lot, so I don't want to say anything yet. But something's coming soon. Something big. So be ready for that. So I got some big stuff coming this weekend. That's that. We got, just to recap, as you know, again, Bay 5 is coming soon, but... Young Bay dropping a single tonight, Midnight, the first official release off of Bay 5. I'm really excited to see what it's going to be, um, you know, because he's been hinting towards a lot of live work, a lot of, you know, an orchestra. He had an orchestra recording shit, a choir or something. So let's see what this single drop. Let, let's see what, it, what it's got in store for us. So we'll say I'm very excited. So 12 o'clock tonight. Go follow him on Twitter or follow me because I'm sure I'll retweet it, you know, whatever. But, um, but yeah. So, big things this weekend. Very excited to, to get to it. I'm excited to get it to you guys. I'm working on the Rookie EP, so that should be coming out soon. And thank you to all you guys for coming to watch the stream tonight. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I'm supposed to be getting good weather down by here. We're supposed to get some good sun this weekend, so I will be soaking in the rays like a rotisserie chicken, baby. I gotta get me some color. It's a little pale. Uh, and what can I leave you off with? As usual, you know, do something uncomfortable this weekend. That's how you grow and that's how you enjoy life. A lot of times people get so uh, bored. Like you could be very successful, I feel. You know, have a good job and you could be doing so many things. But if you don't do anything that's uncomfortable, you're just going to be bored. And boredom is the worst thing you can be. So uh, do something uncomfortable this weekend. Go talk to that girl or guy you like. Go yell scream something in the middle of the street just don't get arrested you know don't get arrested that wouldn't be good definitely don't get arrested um go for a run put your phone away get some good sleep you know drink some milk milk's always good for your bones 
So um, yeah, let me let's let's end it here. I'm gonna start working on some music, and um, I'm gonna do a track review for the Bay track. So we'll do that. So everybody, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you got the little bell. See the bell by the subscribe button. Make sure you click that because YouTube doesn't notify you if you don't have the bell clicked. It makes no sense. The subscribe button doesn't even matter anymore, I feel. So make sure you click that little bell. And uh, I will see you all soon. New video tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a video Sunday. If I do, it'll come out at night. So, yeah. I love you all. Thank you for coming to the stream. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I hope you enjoy the new Bay stuff. I'm very excited to hear it. So let's see what Young Bay's got cooking for us.